Hey, what's up guys, Connor Comics here. Now today we're doing a small look at a few books that I've gotten on Comixology. Now the first three that we are looking at are these here, which is volume one to three of The Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, as you can see by this panel here, collects one to 13. Now this was part of The Ultimate's universe, which was a line where they found that in their main line there was too much continuity. So they got some of their best writers that they had and wrote some books like this. You would have had the Ultimates, which would have been would have been the equivalent of the Avengers. You would have had uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Fantastic Four, and Ultimate X-Men. So these would be the first three volumes of the Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, right, there we go. Um, so it is sort of very 2000s art, but I quite like the look of the art, and I'm looking forward to... Jumping into this, I've heard great things about the Ultimate Universe. Um, obviously, the Spider-Man run, I've continued it on because I have the Miles Morales, but I don't know much about the Peter Parker side of it, and I'm really looking forward to jumping into it and seeing the changes from the main line because Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters. Um, and then we get into Volume 2 here, which I'm not sure which uh, what issues this one collects. Obviously, continuing on, so... So this collects, oh, so from 14 to 27. Um, so yeah, like I said, it, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the different characters. Here I can see we get the introduction of Dr. Octopus, sort of by the look of it very similar to the Spider-Man 2. So they must have taken um, inspiration from this. Um, I do know that the Spider-Man uh, Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home did take a few cues from this run um as you can see by the look of it uh, venom and the black suit comes into this so as you can see this collects uh, 28 to 38 and then ultimate spider-man one and a half um but yeah really looking forward because if this one has venom i love venom next book we have here is as you can see batman their dark designs by james tinian the fourth um I know great things about, uh, I've heard the first issue of this isn't the best, but I'm going to continue it because I love James Tinian as a writer, and I'm really looking forward to jumping in and seeing what this story is about. I can already see the Joker, so I can only hope good things. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to jumping into this and seeing where it goes. Um, I've heard the first issue is very filler, but if it shows me enough, I can already see Deathstroke. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to jumping into this and seeing what it's like. Next one we have here is probably a shocker from some people, but it is this book here, which is Shadowland. So Daredevil Shadow Shadowland. Um, now I only got this because it was on a sale and it was like four euro. So I just thought, feck it, it's a book that as a Daredevil fan, I've heard bad things about, but I'm also curious about. Um, but yeah, I believe he has the cool black suit in this. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. Um, if I remember correctly, I believe this continues on from the end of Brubaker's run because it was sort of teased at the end of Brubaker's run. But yeah, I'm going to give it a go, see what it's like. Um, I know a lot of people have said bad things about this, but I'm also curious to give it my own idea because I know he takes over the hand and I'm curious to see what he gets up to. Um, some people may think I'm a fool, but yeah, next one we have here. This is more because I've been watching WandaVision and I'm curious to see what is Scarlet Witch at her full strength. Because I know this is basically the concept of this book, which is House of N by Bendis, where basically Scarlet Witch basically makes her own reality, um, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and diving into it and seeing what different things she does within this series. Um, but yeah, the X-Men are always a character that I've wanted to get into. And I'm curious about, so yeah, I'll see what this is like and go from there. Um, but yeah, this, the artwork looks great, which I appreciate the look of. And um, we have Quicksilver. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to jumping into this and seeing what changes and seeing what Scarlet Witch gets up to. Next book we have here, which is another Brian Michael Bendis. Maybe notes in a theme, but yeah, these were just, these are just some, some of them that were on sale. So I thought I'll pick them up. As you can see, the new Avengers... I don't know which issue, so this collects 500 to 503, Avengers Finale, New Avengers 1 to 6, and New Avengers 7 to 10. So yeah, I'm looking forward, the art looks good from what I can see, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing 
what the Avengers get up to, because I'm currently reading the Hickman run of the Avengers and the Fantastic Four run by Hickman, so it's interesting to see how different writers write these characters. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping into this and seeing what goes on. Um, next, we have another James Tinney in the fourth book, which, as you can see, is Justice League Dark. So volume one, the last age of magic. So we have the likes of uh, Satana, we have Man Bat, we have Swamp Thing, we have Wonder Woman for some reason. Big, like DC and Marvel seem to do this where they just throw in a random character that doesn't seem to make sense. Like Wonder Woman is the same when Bendis jumped on Guardians of the Galaxy where he included Iron Man. Um, I don't know why they do that, but sure it is what it is. I've heard good things about this. Um, I don't know who the monkey is, but I'm looking forward to finding out. I don't know if Constantine is in this, um, but Constantine is a character that I like, but I don't think he's in this book. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to learning more about these characters because um, the Dark Universe, I've always been interested in because I remember watching the Dark, uh, the Constantine TV show, and I do know that there's a few Justice League animated series out. A Justice League Dark animated series, I mean. So I'm going to jump into this and see what the Dark World is all about. Actually, I think that might be Constantine. Yep, Constantine's in it. I'm sold. <laughs> um, and then we have Volume 2 here. Um, so yeah, I don't actually know how many volumes there are of this series. I do remember listening to a interview with James Tinian on the Comic Story and Channel and he said how he is going to finish this run even though he was jumping over to Batman uh, but yeah I'm looking forward I've heard great things so like I said let's see where we go and the next book that we have is if it would load up oh I haven't downloaded it that would be why but yeah this is Thor by J. Michael Skrzynski volume one as you can see collecting one to six um, yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping into this as Thor is a character that I've always wanted to get into. I did get into it during the Jason Aaron run, but I thought I would give another writer a go on the character and see what his different view on it. But yeah, those are all of the books that I have picked up. So 10 in total. Tell me down below if there's any ones that you would recommend me read first. As I said, I'm currently in the middle of reading this book here because I was in the middle of reading this book, but I just can't get into it. I just, yeah, um, remove from device. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just, <laughs> I'm just struggling to get into it. Um, and I am also in the middle of reading this book here, which is Daredevil, but I've really, like, I literally went through like four issues in no time at all. So I am really enjoying the Fantastic Four. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.